Hey everyone, I'm here. I'm your host Amir, and we're here at the Hard Rock Cafe. And with me is the one and only Jamie Lawson. Hello, how are you? Your story is one of those rags to riches one. It's one of the the amazing tales that we hear about. It's the one their parents tell us about. You know, never give up, and you can be like Jamie Lawson. <laughs> Did you ever, in your wildest dreams, think you would come up and make it? To the big stage. I kind of don't see that I have made the big stage. You know, it's certainly been、um, a long road to get to this point, and、I'm, I am pretty proud of myself that I did stick in there and just kept going and had belief in the songs I was writing. So, yes, yes, and without that, I mean, maybe the world would never have heard of Jamie Lawson, and I'm very happy that we have because、right, the music's great. And talking about your music. Wasn't expecting that. That's by far your biggest single to date. Yeah. And you mentioned in previous interviews that the reasoning was from a simple conversation that you had. So talk us through what was going on back then. Well, you know, you're always on the lookout as a songwriter. You're always listening to other things that are going on whilst talking to someone.、Mm-hmm. It's the rudest thing you can possibly do. <laughs>、uh, you're very selfish in your self, I guess, in your time. Because、um, for whatever reason, as a creative person, you're always just listening for that thing that could be turned into a song. From the delicate kiss, yeah, anyone could have missed, and I wasn't expecting that. I thought that's really sweet. Something has to come before it, then it leads on, and it quickly became this kind of life story. So,、mm-hmm. in fact, your, your entire album, the, your self-titled album, Jimmy Lawson, deals a lot with like depression and, and issues like that. So, was that intentional? Did you want to address that, or、I、tried? With the whole album to make it optimistic, I, ha- I tried to give all the whole, all the songs a sense of hope,、uh, and that was very important.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, definitely. So it's a very, it's a very, it's an album to listen to on any day, good day, bad day, and just makes you feel better. So well, thanks. <laughs> yeah, thanks.、Um, moving on now,、uh, Ed Sheeran. Being signed to that label, that was probably the biggest, that big turning point, and everything just went up from there. Yeah. What was your relationship? I know you and Ed go back, and you、yeah. guys met before. So, what was your relationship with him up to that point? Up to that point, we'd only met once. <laughs> so that was my relationship. You know, once we did a gig together, we got on pretty well.、Uh, it was obviously he was very talented.、Um, I liked his songs, he liked mine, and that was it. You know, I hadn't spoken to him since he became very famous. I got a text. Out of the blue, saying Ed's doing a secret show in Dublin. He's asked for you to open up. Can you come and do it? That was quite a surprise, you know. That was like four years later, after that first meeting, that one and only meeting. So it's kind of strange that he remembered me,、uh, and I was very glad. You know, for me, that first, that kind of second meeting of going over to do that show with him was just really to say hello and congratulations. That was it for me. That was like I'll, I'll get to say well done to him. Because he did it,、mm-hmm. he cracked it. You know, you know, I, I never went over for any other reason than that. So, for it to lead to kind of opening up for him,、mm-hmm. for him to say, "Oh, I'm, I'm, I have a record label, or I'm starting a record label, and I think you should be the one." That's crazy. <laughs> you know.、Mm-hmm. And of course, then what happened was your album overtook his on the UK album charts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, good week.、Mm-hmm. Did did he call you and say, "Hey, you overtook me"? That that's cool. Was that supposed to happen, or <laughs> did you see that coming? I think he was pretty happy about it.、Um, it must be good for him as a you know the label boss to have his artist go to number one in the first week.、Mm-hmm. That doesn't do him any harm at all.、So、<laughs> I'm sure he was as glad. What are you looking at? What's the next big thing for you?、Um, I guess the main thing is just I'm going to be touring all year, but also I need to find time to write the next album. So I've started writing songs for that, and hopefully I'll record it at the end of this year, and hopefully it'll be out early next year. All right. So I just want to keep this whole thing rolling and see if it grows anymore. Or who knows? Let's hope you break the same, you crack the same <laughs> thing that Ed did,、uh, and who knows? One day you'll be selling out stadiums here too. I, I kind of doubt it, but、uh, <laughs> you know, it's a nice thing to aim for.、Mm-hmm. Anyway. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much, Jamie. Jamie Lawson with us, everyone. Thank you so much for taking time. We can't wait to see you tonight over at Hard Rock Cafe. Jamie will be performing here, and all the best for the future. Thanks very much. Thank you so much. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you like what you saw, then be sure to click like and subscribe. If you want to see more of us interviewing celebrities, then click here. If you want to see more of the sounds of Singapore series from last year, click here.
And there you have it. You're watching Radio Heatwave, the hottest thing on YouTube.